What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Haley. I am currently 19 weeks pregnant. I'm gonna be doing baby names I love but won't be using. I have so many names for boys and girls. We're having a boy, so I will start with boys. But yeah, I'm really excited to share these. I feel like I might get roasted for some of these, but that's all part of the fun. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. My usual content is more like lifestyle, fashion, beauty vlogs, blah, blah, blah. So make sure you stick around, but I'm really excited. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I have my little list. Okay, we're starting with boy names. First, I'm gonna, these three kind of go together. Like they have a similar vibe. The first one is Styles. I think Styles is so cute. Following that is Wells and Trip. So all of these are like shorter, they kind of are preppier names to me. Styles is probably my favorite out of all three of those. I honestly, like, I'm gonna be so real with you. It's because I love Harry Styles that it's on there. So I'm just being completely honest. My husband did like all of these um, as well, but they just didn't feel like our son. So that's why we're not using them. So those kind of are the only ones with that vibe. So that's why I said all of those together. Next up, we have Mars. And I really like Mars. Again, just, I don't, I'm not passionate about it, but I think it's really cute. My husband was not into Mars. Brad was not having that. So um, next up we have Mac for a boy. And my husband would probably use Mac, but I just don't really want to be saying Mac for the rest of my life. It just doesn't feel right. So not using Mac. Okay, I'm probably gonna get roasted for this one, but this one for a boy, just hear me out. Darcy. Is that not the coolest name? Think Pride and Prejudice Mr. Darcy. I have a Pride and Prejudice tattoo. If you're an OG, you know that I'm obsessed with Pride and Prejudice. And I think that's so iconic, but Brad said absolutely not. Okay, next one is a little too traditional for me to use, but it's Logan. It's actually a family name. It's my grandparents' last name. So that's why it's on here and why we considered it. I like it even more for a girl, honestly, but we just were really like needing boy name ideas. So that's why it's on here. Still a super cute name. Logan from Gilmore Girls, Team Logan. Actually, I'm probably Team Jess. Anyways, going off of Logan, Boston, get it? It's like Boston Logan Airport. I think Boston's really cute. Just doesn't, I don't know. It's like not a, a cute enough. I don't love it enough to ever name my child that, but it's fun to just include some fun ones we liked on the list. Okay, these three also go together. Blue, I love blue. I, ugh, I would name my kid blue tomorrow. Um, Brad thinks it's more middle namey, which I kind of agree. Um, so maybe we'll use it as a middle name one day. And then off of that, Wave. Again, we both like Wave, but more for a middle name. And then Ocean. I love Ocean. The first person I ever saw named their kid Ocean was Desi Perkins. Now I feel like it's pretty popular. But I mean, it's amazing. Like, I just love it. It's so good. Brad doesn't love Ocean for a name, so off the list. And then for, I have two more for boys, strictly for boys. Then I have unisex, then I have a ton of girl names. So just get ready. Um, if I was having a girl, it would be over for you bitches. Cause I love my girl names. They're so good. So if you're having a girl, please use these. Like you have my full blessing, but okay. So we actually almost, were going to go with this one for our son. And that is Brooks. My mom's name is Brooks. So it kind of feels special, but in the end we were kind of calling him that, like trying it out, like here and there, but it just did not feel like him. It didn't feel right. And it's also getting very popular. So Brooks was out. Okay, last one for boys is Booker. And I actually got that because Julia and Hunter are like my favorite YouTubers. I watch them like religiously and their dog's name is Booker. And I just was like, that is the cutest name for like a little boy. But, and we were very close. Like it, the one that we chose for our son, Booker and Brooks were like the three that were like, okay, these are like gonna be it. But we told someone booker and they were like did you just say booger so i was like okay booker's out because i can't be having people think i'm saying booger when i'm saying my son's name um so if you are around people that have great pronunciation use booker because it's so cute um call him book like ugh, so cute so those are the boy names let me know which one was your favorite right now 
and then do the same for each one. So next up we're gonna do unisex names. And the first one on my list, you guys should not be shocked by this, is Salem. Um, Salem obviously is a special place to me and also it's just a really cute name, but it's getting super popular So I just don't think I would ever use it Brad also like has never even been there and like he has no connection to it So he's not gonna like want to name his child that it's just kind of that one was just kind of more on my list for me Because <laughs> I think it's so cute, especially for a little girl Adorable. Okay next um, I love this one I might use this in the future if I could get Brad on board like none of these are off limits for me and my second child either by the way so just letting you know um next one is marlo i love marlo it's so cute could go either way for a boy or a girl it's very cool um that my grandma i told her that one and i thought she wasn't gonna like it and she was like oh my gosh i love marlo there was this um cute actress maybe named marlo or like her show was called like marlo in the city and from the 60s and i'm like oh my god iconic so especially for a girl that's so cute but for a boy i love it too this one kind of i got from marlo like I, any word i hear i'm like baby name cute um and that one is maroon i don't think i'd ever use it i just threw it on the list i actually don't love it so we're just gonna like remove it from the list <laughs> maroon is out <laughs> don't use it or if you like it use it um next one is monroe I love Monroe, would use Monroe, probably more for a middle name, um, and yeah, I just think that's so cute. It's very popular, but I mean, for good reason. It's so cute, especially for a boy, actually. Like, I actually kind of like it more for a boy. It's very, like, I don't know, like, established. Like, it sounds like he has a house, like, in the Hamptons. It reminds me of, like, the Lana Del Rey, like, song Old Money, so love that for a boy. And then lastly, for unisex, I have Harlow. Very popular, um, but I think it's very cute for either a boy or a girl. I don't think Brad would ever go for it, so. Those are the unisex ones. Okay, comment your favorite one of those. And then we're gonna finish off with girl names, and like, I love my girl names, so let's roll. Okay, first girl name. This is a girl name I've had chosen. Like, I thought this was going to be my daughter, since probably 2012 and it got so popular like every time i'm out in public i hear someone call their daughter this i'm like Ugh, cool but the name is mila i've liked it for years and it is not popular so just want to put that out there um but now i wouldn't use it because there would be like seven milas in our class i think i know i shouldn't care about popularity but i kind of do because my name is Haley. And my husband's name is Brad, so we just have very, like, common names. And I have always just wanted, like, a cool name that, like, not many people had around me. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, projecting that onto my child, but I just wouldn't use a super popular name, and that's just me. If you love something and you've had it chosen since forever, use it. The name we actually ended up going with, we've had this picked out since we started dating in 2017. And it's now rising in popularity, but we just don't care because we love it so much. But I feel like Mila is like on another level, so we're not using Mila. <laughs> and we're not having a girl, so that's why we're not using it. Next up, I thought I was having a girl, and this was her. Like, we were calling her this before I knew it was a boy. I don't know why I thought I was having a girl, but I really was like full convicted I was. And we were going to name her Gemma. I love Gemma. We found it from Love Island UK. <laughs> there was the cutest girl on there named Gemma Owen and we loved the name so we really liked that thought this was Gemma but surprisingly now that I'm like pregnant and now that I like say it I wouldn't use it because like my family <laughs> from Indiana and they, some of them have southern accents so it's giving Gemma when they say it all love to them but I don't like how anyone says it but me next up for girls is Spencer I love Spencer ever since I watched Pretty Little Liars and I'm not even gonna lie, Aria is on this list too. And that's just, it is what it is. I love those names. They really ate with those. They're so cute. And I would still use either one of them to this day. Next up on here is Hazel. I don't really like Hazel. I don't even know why it's on here. Brad hates it. I think I put it on here because it's like a family name for him. His mom told me one time. So I thought it might be cute to use, but I actually don't like it and I don't know why it's on here. <laughs> Next is Blair, and if I had a girl, I would name her Blair now, like right now. 
Um, and if I have a girl in the future, probably will be Blair. I'm just saying. Um, I love that name. It's so cute, so cool. Just timeless. It's, it's so good. So there you go. And maybe a sneak peek into my future. Next up, I have Bardot for a girl. And Brad hated this, but I think it's so cool. Like Bridget Bardot. Get it? But Bardot. Bardot. Color dough. <laughs> Cute. Next up is Dahlia. I love Dahlia. I actually started liking this because Brad told me that like his grandpa used to love planting dahlias and they would plant dahlias together. And I was like, oh my god, like that is such a pretty name. Like we could name our daughter Dahlia like in honor of your grandpa. And he's like, no, I don't like that name. So I was like, oh, well, I just did this for you. So I'm just confused. But I love Dahlia. And I think it's really cute. Call her Dolly if you want. I probably wouldn't. But yeah, so cute. Okay, next up is Sloane. If I ever had two twin girls, like you know every girl just has these fantasies. If I ever had two twin girls, they would be Blair and Sloane. Because like, sorry, but that eats every single time. I love Sloane ever since I watched, what's that show? Entourage. Love Sloan. And next, this doesn't go with any of my other ones, like the vibe of it, but I love Rhiannon. I think it's such a cool and pretty name. Just call her Re. Oh, it's so good. One of my favorite songs is Rhiannon, so I just think it's so cool. And like, she could have a song that's like her song, you know? And just like a cool girl vibe. So I love Rhiannon. It is really common, but it's, it's so good. Next one is Maeve, and I actually got this name from like the evil character in a book I was reading, Throne of Glass, if you know, you know. I was like, wait, Maeve it kind of slays, like honestly. So I really like Maeve. Um, Brad didn't hate it. I actually don't remember if he liked it or hated it because I've said so many baby names to him out loud, like hundreds. I just can't remember like what his opinion was of each of them. But I love Maeve. Next one I also got from a Sarah J Mass book and that's Ember but I like November and call her Ember like my birthday's in November my child might be born in November if they were like November is such a cute name just to name them that and then you could call them Ember if you wanted to okay next one again this is kind of random but is Carmen and my mom was going to name me Carmen and I wish she did so I'm like Carmen is so cute Carmen is so cool I love Carmen. Next up is Clara. And this is a name I've loved since I was a kid. First time I saw the Nutcracker, I'm like, Clara. I love Clara. It's so pretty and so cool. Um, but Brad doesn't like it. so And it's a little too, tradi tr little too traditional, I think, for me. But it's just so cute. And then another one I love is Dove. I think it's really soft and pretty, but I don't think at the end of the day it's just it's my taste, even though I really, really like it and think it's so cute. <sighs> I'm so out of breath after saying all of those names, but that is the end of my list. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of my taste in names. Some people are gonna hate it, some people are gonna love it. I think my I think it's kind of all over the place. I feel like there were some traditional ones in there and some that were more out there, but please let me know what you thought of them. This was so fun to film, probably my favorite video ever. I am like passionate about baby names. I have been ever since I was in high school and I used to not even want kids and I still would be like, oh my God, I love to, like baby names. So let me know what you thought of this video. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.